my channel it's your girl curly proverbs and in this video i am going to be talking you through the pros and cons of using um henna mask versus a henna gloss we're going to do a kind of playoff against each other because i get so many questions about this and i thought it'd be really nice to have a resource that i could just point people to um, and in my most recent video, I asked if you guys wanted to see this and it was the most popular comment was, yes, please do a review. People were hitting me up with DMs. People were hitting me up on Instagram. So I thought I definitely had to do it. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram already, please make sure you do. I often share sneak peeks before I release videos. I'll often share details of regimens, etc., on my Instagram stories. And I also do the same with like makeup swatches and PR boxes that I receive through. So make sure you follow me on Curly Proverbs um, over on Instagram. So uh, a henna mask is basically where you have the entire uh, conditioning treatment based on henna. So it could be um, henna and pure water. It could be henna and aloe vera juice. You can add in other ingredients, but the bulk of the ingredients is basically going to be the henna. A henna gloss is where you actually have a tablespoon or so, or maybe three teaspoons of your favorite Ayurvedic herbs. It could be henna plus alma, uh, amla plus shikai kai um, that you're actually using. So you have up to three teaspoons of your favorite that you add into your main conditioner. So that's the initial difference between the two. So let's talk about some of the pros of using a straight henna mask. Well, if you've been around here for a minute, you will know it is one of my absolute favorite ingredients. So let's say your hair has been damaged through over-processing or the use of chemicals um, or the use of heat. It can really fill in the, ga the gaps and the crevices in your hair where the cuticle shingles might have come loose and it actually builds up the thickness of your hair strand. So if you have very fine hair, it can actually give you additional volume with prolonged use. It strengthens your hair like nothing else. It's insanely, insanely strengthening, insanely nourishing. And um, the great thing about it is, compared to other treatments, is over time, it accumulates its properties in your hair. There is nothing else that gives me more curl definition than using henna. So if you're using a straight henna mask, Obviously, all of those properties are going to be really, really magnified. Um, and recently, I did an intensive moisture and repair routine where I used a mask and then I followed up with a deep conditioner that was moisturizing, etc. And my curls were popping for days. Like, I was like, ah, oh, I've been using like teas for so long, I've kind of forgotten how good having a straight mask actually is. So, as far as the cons, right, and um, I think one of the main cons that has irritated me the most is the fact that it is prone to blocking my drains. So that actually was really annoying because I had to bring in a plumber to sort it out. You know, that could be really expensive, but that was after a long time of using it. I think I must have been using it for about three years but each time I use it, you know, you, you basically got this quite, you basically got this quite heavy mask that actually goes down the drain. So if your draining system isn't so great, it's not a good look. Also, henna, it's incredibly messy, particularly if you're using the mask. I find that it gets a lot more things stained, a lot more intensely, really, really quickly. Whereas if I was using the gloss, it's not going to stain as quickly. So definitely the mess, definitely the fact that it can block your drains. The other thing is it's really time consuming because you basically have to wash out the henna mask and then you have to follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. So you're getting into the shower like three times. So you get in, you wash your hair, you apply the mask, you come out, you do whatever you're doing around the house for like four hours or however long. Then you go back in the shower, you wash it out, you put in your deep conditioner, and it depends. If you want to just wash out your moisturizing deep conditioner straight away, fine. Otherwise, you're then coming out, leaving that in for another hour, and then washing it out. So it's actually a really, really time-consuming process in that respect. But it's not 
very beginner friendly. So if you are using henna for the first time, I would not recommend you going straight in and actually using um, a straight mask because the way that you handle and manipulate your hair um, has to be super, super gentle. So um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend going straight in and using a henna mask. It's definitely not um, beginner friendly. Sign up using the link in the, if you sign up using the link in the description box, you actually get 30 days for free on the platform. And then after that, it's, I'm gonna put the price on the screen. I think it's like 8.99 in pounds. So as far as the glosses, obviously the pro is that you're going to get all of the properties that you will get with a mask but with less mess and all that razzmatazz, okay? So you're gonna actually get all of the benefits, but the con is that they're going to definitely be more diluted because you're using a smaller amount of the henna and all the different herbs, okay? So it's very beginner friendly if you use a gloss because, and I would strongly suggest if you're new to henna that you actually use a gloss. So what you have to do is you have to put just a, a teaspoon upwards of henna, or your favorite Ayurvedic herbs plus henna into your conditioner and you're good to go, okay? So therefore you're actually balancing out the strength of the henna plus the moisture of the deep conditioner that's hopefully a moisturizing one and you are going to end up with hair that is balanced and you only have to jump into the shower that one time to put it in. The other thing is you can actually use it more frequently. So like, whereas with the actual gung ho, like henna mask, you can only use that like probably like every month or so, maybe every three weeks. You can actually use a gloss on a weekly basis. It's a lot less likely to plug up your drains and like end up with blockages, etc. And anyone I think pretty much can use it unless you have an allergy. So I hope you found this video on the different properties helpful. Please comment below. Also, be sure to give my video a thumbs up because it really does support my channel. And comment below any other titles or videos that you want to see. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss another video. Remember, I upload videos now every Friday. So I will see you next week. So guys, since recording this video, we actually reached 150,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm so, so grateful for each and every single one of you. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway to celebrate over on my Instagram. All you have to do is follow my Instagram and Bell Bar Organics Instagram. They're gonna be linked below this video. And comment, let us know what you would like to see us collaborate on next. And we will be paying very close attention. And you'll be in with a chance of winning one of three beast mode hair kits just for you so we've got three that we're going to be giving away comment below also be sure to stop by the bell bar organic shop if you want to pick up your own diy gloss we've been having amazing reviews as you know and i'll see you in the next video